Hello, people of the internet. That's right, I said it. I said the thing. You happy now? Welcome back to a quick video on FNAF news. Today, we got two things to talk about. The graphic novel for The Fourth Closet is coming out this year. And also, a brand new gameplay update coming to the world of FNAF AI in April. So let's not waste any more time. Before we hop in, I do just want to say that this video is sponsored by my Twitch channel. After this video goes up, I will be streaming on there. I will be streaming until I beat Five Nights at Freddy's. 1. Hopefully shouldn't take me too long. So if you want more Johnny Blocks, feel free to come over a little bit after this video goes live. I hope I can see you all there. This video is also brought to you by the like button and the subscribe button. You should click them. It's ha It makes me happy and it helps my channel grow and I appreciate it. So now let's start off with the graphic novel for The Fourth Closet, which is the third and final book in the OG FNAF book trilogy. So like I said, you got the Silver Eyes and you got the Twisted Ones and in December of this this year, we will get the third and final graphic novel for the fourth closet. Interestingly enough, the new graphic novel will be a entirely different artist from the ones that did the Silver Eyes and the Twisted Ones. This brand new artist is Diana Camero, and she actually has done fan art of FNAF in the past. I'll put it up on screen right now. There are some stickers that she made, and right off the bat, she has a very different style from any of the other artists we've seen in the entire franchise. Now keep in mind that this is fan art, so this isn't the official design of the characters that are gonna be in the fourth closet, but I doubt that they'll be very different. I will say, I am very intrigued by Diana's approach towards the design of these characters, and I am very intrigued to see how the fourth closet graphic novel goes. Like I said not too long ago, the graphic novel for the fourth closet releases on the 28th of December, so this year, which is a little bit worrying. I will admit, I really, really hope that Diana has been given ample time to work on this graphic novel because like I said, this is the final one. We better, g we gotta go out with a bang, okay? I think Diana has a very unique uh, sense of style and artwork approach that I would really hate for it to be rushed through uh, to get it out before the end of the year. I would really love for her to take the time to make this graphic novel as good as it possibly can be. And I'm very excited to see how it turns out. Moving on now to FNAF AR. This is the final topic I wanna to talk about, but it may take us a bit. I have a few tweets I wanna talk about, and of course the main gameplay update coming in April. First tweet was on March the 17th, only three days ago, saying happy St. Patrick's Day from FNAF AR. Look out soon for a hint on what we've been working on that'll land late. April. As always, we feel so lucky to be working on FNAF AR for this great community. Next day, on the 18th, they put out another tweet saying, Say hi to Shamrock Freddy before the Shamrock Shakedown shakes out. Sorry, that confused me. At 5 p.m. PDT today. So, yeah, I'm a bit late to this. The event is over, so if you missed out, that's unfortunate. Gonna have to wait an entire 365 days. Ancient Equinox Reminders, Toxic Springtrap, and Radioactive Foxy will stay till the event ends, which is kind of weird, seeing as they did come in with the Shamrock Shakedown event, but they're staying until the end of the Ancient Equinox event. I don't know. It's a little bit weird. Tokens will be earnable until March the 25th at 5 p.m. PDT. And the Ancient Equinox event ends on the 31st of March, the absolute last day of the month at 5 p.m. PDT. Tokens will be redeemable until then. So a very generous 11 days until the end of the event. And hopefully that means we can kick off April with a brand new event most likely, it'll be Chocolate Chica and Chocolate Freddy, if I had to take a guess. And I bet that, honestly, we'll probably run all the way through the month, and then at the very end of the month, in late April, we'll get the gameplay update. At this point, I don't know when we're gonna get a new character. <laughs> I'm holding out hope, but it seems like they've been working almost exclusively on this big gameplay update that we'll get uh, next month, so... I hope it's worth it. <laughs> and speaking of the gameplay update, let's talk about it. They say testing, testing, testing. More controls needed, upgrading animatronic detection systems. And they attached a image of Freddy and a module down at the bottom of the screen with a lot of static. It looks like, based off of this teaser image, that we are going to have a brand new way to defeat animatronics. It seems like much like the gameplay update back in October, that revamped the UI, the user interface for the map, 
This new gameplay update is going to update the fighting UI, which is kind of an interesting idea. Hopefully this opens up the, uh, the realm of possibilities for brand new mechanics, new ways to defeat characters, rather than just looking around with the flashlight on, pressing shock. Hopefully there's a lot more ways to encounter characters, to fight them, to defeat them, all that good stuff. And thankfully our boy Kane Carter, the creator of Pop Goes Over on Twitter, who has been getting himself into a pickle, thinking that the FNAF OGs are made out of plastic, has brightened up and made this module interface a lot more clear for our eyes, and I'm gonna be going over it right now. Probably the most notable things are the large circular buttons down at the bottom. He says that they resemble the input UI for the standard gameplay mechanics like the flashlight and the mask. So like I just said not too long ago, hopefully this means that we have at least two more brand new mechanics. Because if they put out this update, and it's only just like a new interface, not any new mechanics, it's just like a, a revamped UI for the flashlight and the mask and the battery and all that stuff, I'm gonna be so disappointed. So we better get new mechanics and hopefully that means new characters soon. At the top we got a green meter, it resembles the battery bar, I do think that is what that is, you can very clearly see that it's basically the same icon. You have a much larger meter, it's halfway filled with blue, as you can see, I'm not sure what that could be, maybe a new mechanic, that's what I'm hoping for, um, maybe Balor's audio thing? Because I don't see a place where that could go, but at the same time Balor has two boys for the player and for below herself and we're only seeing one that could be the aggression uh meter that you see when you go to fight a character but i don't see why that would be useful in the fight itself and also on the sides you have exposed wires he says they could be used for controlled shocks but i'm not entirely sure i think maybe uh they're just there for the appearance of the device to make it look run down. I don't know why it would look run down though. And also someone pointed out on Twitter that if you look in the top left of the image, it says we're back. So I think what happened was Illumix took the image of the Shamrock Shakedown event where it says we're back, I believe. And they just used that as reference for uh, probably the proportions and the ratio for this teaser image, which I find hilarious because I have absolutely no clue why this teaser would be named where back. And that is everything. Hopefully the new Easter event that we get in April, which I do think is going to be Easter. I do think we'll get Chocolate uh, Freddy, Chocolate Chica, and most likely re-releases of the two Bonnie skins from last year. Hopefully that'll keep us entertained enough so we don't have to wait and wait and wait uh, the entire month. Hopefully we'll be occupied with brand new content, brand new skins. I don't think we'll get a new character in the early April event. I think we'll get one in May when the whole update has been out. We may even get one with the launch of the update. I have no clue. We got that with Plus Trap, I believe. So yeah, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all over on Twitch. Goodbye.